Hi, this is Rochelle at Scrapcraft Tastic, and I'm back to do a Wednesday's haul today. I don't have a lot because I haven't been visiting the craft stores or Dollar Tree, Walmart, etc. But I'm going to share the few things that I have. One thing that I got was this two millimeter um, elastic cord. It's black. I also have a white one coming. I think um, they had to restock those. Because I'm back in the craft room, I wanted to get a good quantity of this at one time. Instead of buying the um, packages from Joanne, the little small packages. Plus, I don't think that the Joanne uh, cord is two millimeter. But this is perfect for making traveler's notebooks. So, for example, I was playing around with the Hovenichi Weeks size insert that I made. And then I made this clear cover for it, but I didn't have the cord that I wanted. So now I can use this cord to string it. And I may wait until I get the white. I'm not sure what color I want to do yet. But I'm just playing around with this just to see how I like it and to um, test out my inserts. But this, this insert is actually available in my shop already. So it's just like a very basic weekly, week on one page or week on two pages with the grid on the second page. So there's that. And this is the cord. And this is the cord. I got this from Amazon. I'm not sure if I said that already or not. But I will link it below. Or, and I also have a link to my Amazon shop. So pretty much anything that I buy from Amazon that's craft related, I put it a link to it in my Amazon shop. The next thing that I got from Amazon also is the ex uh, extended cutting pads for my Sizzix Big Shot. So this is the Big Shot, this one here. And this is longer than the regular uh, cutting pads. So I needed this. Again, I got it from Amazon. I needed that because I got this die. And it's the Eileen Hull Scoreboards XL by Sizzix. And what it does is it cuts a traveler's notebook. And these are the items that it cuts. So it cuts all these pieces that you see here and I will be coming back to show how to use this in a future video but I was excited to get this because I plan on getting out more um, items and making more notebooks and things like that available in my shop. So this is a great way to get started. Then on the sticker side of things I did purchase some stickers for um, Hobonichi Weeks. I got them from CW Graphic Designs. And I've already opened them to look at them. So this is what I got. So this is the freebie, I think. Yeah. And again, it's CW Graphic Designs Shop on Etsy. It's an Etsy shop. And here's the card. Okay. Get that out of the way. So, oh, and here's another little freebie. Okay. So this first one, I don't remember the names of these. Um, But if you really want, if you want to know, then I'll try to remember to list the names and links to them in the description box below. But this is the first one. And again, this is designed to fit the Hobonichi Weeks. So I got that one. This one with the unicorns. And then this one with the tie-dye. Okay. So those are the three that I got. And like I said, initially I got the, these to play around with my inserts, to use my inserts with them. 
and again I will probably be coming back to show you that in another video but last but not least for now I've got a little happy mail that I saved this came um, and I saved it to open here and what it is is a Hobonichi Weeks this is I think it's for April through April 2019 let me make sure yes this one is an April 2019 start I probably could have gotten a January start but it didn't really make any sense we're already well into March now so I figured starting in April would be fine especially since I have the inserts that I made um, I'm not even sure that I'll actually be using this to plan in I really got it for reference and research <laughs> But I'm going to go ahead and show it to you. I still use, I have a Hobonichi Techo, which is the 4x6 daily planner. And I still use that as my everyday kind of like notes and write down things just to keep up with what I did that day. Or list things that I need to do the next day. Um, and I don't think I will would need this. But you never know. So anyway, this is what it looks like. The cover is, it's, it's a hard cover, but it's not really that hard. Um, if, if I bend it, if I put a little effort into it, I could easily bend it. Um, it's covered in cloth, so it's a cloth cover. This is what it looks like on the inside. So... This is what the year at a glance. And these are your monthlies. So all your monthlies are in the front with these. And then you get into the weeks. So it said April start. But it looks like it started at the end of February. And it goes to March. So I don't know why. That's what it said in the listing too. So... I'm not sure why it said that in the listing. And I purchased this from jetpens.com. I'll link them below. So I could go ahead and actually get started with this. If I choose to use it. I don't know what I would use it for at this point. It has lots of great pages in the back. And they are numbered. So that means you could actually do your own index with them as well. Yep, it's got a place for the index. That's pretty cool. And of course it's mostly in it's in Japanese. So I don't know what all of this is in the back, but your um month and dates are in English so this is what it looks like this is probably for contacts yeah and then you also get this little pocket so I guess that will like go here and you can slip things in there and then this is a map <laughs> A railway map for 2019 is probably for Japan, but it's pretty cool to have. So this is the Hobonichi Weeks. I did kind of fall in the rabbit hole um, with everybody else, but again, I really mostly got this for research. So that I plan on going back to designing stickers and I'll probably be doing some inserts to go along with this because a lot of people use this inside of a leather or some type of jacket that also has strings. So you can also include inserts and I do have a jacket coming for this. So 
and just to give you a sense of the size I don't have very big hands at least I don't think so so it's about the size of my hand and it's easy to hold so they do have other colors but I chose to kind of step outside of my comfort zone of black everything or pink and I got the red so I thought it was pretty cool then this also came in this is my life again it's in Japanese so I don't know what it says happy nothing special day that part but anyway I will keep all that you know I always keep all the goodies that come with things and I also got this um, white jelly roll pen. I needed another one anyway, but I got it to bring my order up to the amount that would uh, be free shipping. So even though I paid extra for this, it still was less than what the shipping would have been. So, and again, I needed a, a new white jelly roll pen. So I got that from Jet Pens as well. Okay, and then I have a few more things. I stopped by Joanne. They had a 25% off coupon. So I picked up a new Cropodile Corner Chomper. This is the Corner Chomper. I picked up a new one because the quarter inch on mine, even if I put paper behind it when I'm trying to punch um, laminate, it still doesn't punch it correctly. So hopefully this will work. This time, if it doesn't work right, I know to take it back. I have my receipt and everything. These were on sale for 40% off, plus I had a 25% off coupon. I also got this, which is, what are they calling it, the Corner Chomper Stub and Scallop. So it makes this design here. And I've seen this, and I, I thought they didn't make them anymore, or I don't know. But I'm glad I was able to find it. So I have this now. And I also have the one that um, does the slant. That you can use to make tags. But I really like this one. So I got that one. Again 40% off. Plus 25% off with the coupon. Then I got this. The Petite. Um, Happy Planner Mom Book. Sticker Book. There were others there that I wanted. But. I always look at the number of stickers in the book. These are regularly $19.99. They were 40% off plus, again, the 25% off coupon. So, to me, it's got to have enough pieces in it to for me to buy it, even if it's on sale at a good price. And I know a lot of times this number is inflated because of all the little asterisks and arrows and stuff like that. But still I can still use those and I tend to like the many um, books that they have because I don't always just put these stickers in the happy planner I'm usually using something that's considerably smaller than the happy planner so the mini is the way to go I actually picked up the classic or just the regular pack of stickers and then I saw the mini and I put the regular one back because the mini would work better for me so this is what's in here. I'm just going to do a real quick flip through. I like that um, Happy Planner is starting to use uh, a lot more word stickers. Try to go a little slow through this. I like the birthday. And I think these are supposed to go on the monthly maybe. I don't I don't know. No, they're not. They go on the weekly. So these are shopping. Oh, I like these RX pickup. That's a really good one. Um, doctor appointment, dentist. I really wish they had more doctor appointment. <laughs> um, need a bunch of those steps. 
and maybe that's what I'll use this Hobonichi for because I, I feel like I'm well enough now to go to the gym except for one thing little issue that I'm having with my foot but I plan to get that taken care of hopefully it's nothing too serious and I'll be going back to the gym so maybe that's what I can use this for because I feel so weak and out of shape right now um, chores good one laundry these are holidays and gold foil that's nice um, just some functional boxes this is a really well-rounded book these are game day I could probably use these for um, dress rehearsals and rehearsals because I have a kid that is going to be in another production so we have rehearsals starting next week but I really like this sticker book oh they have the early release stickers yes we don't do late starts around here <laughs> we don't have play dates so maybe I can repurpose that I like all the budget stickers and the coffee and I guess I could use those for tea I'm in the south so I do drink sweet tea that's like my I don't really drink soda so that's probably worse that I drink sweet tea but I do drink it with lots and lots of lemon and sometimes lots and lots of lime um what's for dinner yeah that's the question I get every day at least twice what are we having for dinner but anyway okay I know I went through this extremely slow but I want to get a good look this year I've decided that I want to get the most out of my stickers and I'm trying to use them as much as possible so I don't want to have to I'm trying to commit what stickers in, are in what book to memory I know it's pretty hopeless because I have so many books but I'm trying to do that be more intentional about what stick you know about knowing where to find the stickers that I need and actually using them so I'm back with a few more items the white two millimeter elastic um, cord did come in I showed the black already so this is the white and I'm not gonna open that one up I went to Dollar Tree and got a few things I picked up two of these pocket folders that have a zipper pouch on the front so you can put I'm trying to do this with one hand so you can put items in here and then you can just also tuck items in here so I just got two of those for a dollar each not sure that that's a great bargain but I kinda need them for something then I got a pack of these pens I think this is a pen that I have that I really like it's a, well it's the same as this pen that I have that I really like and it doesn't have any branding on it I think it's this one because it has this silver um, the clicker is silver it is a gel pen but the one I have this part has come off of it so I couldn't tell what brand it was but I think it's I'm hoping this is the right pen so I picked up one pack of those I picked up just some plain jumbo paper clips for my junk journal project and I picked up these ribbons with the gold foiling on them not sure what I want to use these for yet but I thought they were very pretty and that I could use them on various projects so pick those up and then from Happy Mail, I received an order from Mystic's Little Gifts. And I just want to show her new Happy Mail label. I think that's really pretty. It's like a rose gold color. So let me open the box. I already started opening it. Let's 
so that our addresses aren't showing. I already started opening it. I like this little sticker with her um, MLG and Co. on it. But anyway, I decided to stop and save it for my haul video. So again, I like the little sticker. Here's the card. And let's see. Dun dun dun. dun. This is the, okay. So this is her raven leather. This is what the outside looks like. I love a snap closure. Now that she has them. That's what I want always is snap closure. I'm not really a big fan of the elastic closures. And this is the inside. Oh, so nice. This is a personal size rings. I've been fighting and fighting and fighting <laughs> and trying and trying and trying, trying all kinds of different things. But now I and I know that personal size, that I really like personal size. So this was one thing that I did not have from her shop was the personal size um, rings in Raven and I also don't have the personal size traveler's notebook so I'm looking forward to getting those and adding to my collection but yeah this has the pockets in the front and the back love it so much and this is what it looks like Okay, so anyway, that is everything that I got this week. And I'm really glad to be back filming videos, making videos, and I hope you enjoy my content. I have a lot of ideas that have kind of been on standby, and I'm ready to start getting those videos done. That's it for now. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and the little bell so that you'll receive notification each time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye!